Don't forget to hit the lights up. This is your boy, Kirk Vincent, on the mic. Gotta subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow my stream, send me some bits, and send me some subs on my Twitch and my YouTube. I put the dollar in the bank that you give me, so I can use it for some good gifties. This is a gaming channel. This is the Kirk Vincent Valentine, boy! Blessed was the man born for the throne, yet he, so impure of heart, was denied by the stone and cast into ignominy. Feeding on the dusk and embracing the darkness, he spurned the dawn, affecting a life untouched by time. And through the coming of night eternal, he now seeks to exact vengeance upon his own blood. Vengeance upon his own blood. Is that why he's after knocked? The stone, chrysalis to the soul of our star, cradle to the king, destined to serve as vessel of its light. Gods and men alike awaited the coming of the chosen as they fought to fend off darkness blight. For he and he alone would possess the power to purge our star of its skirt. Not really must be the Chosen King after all. What is up my Archfiends of Chaos? This is none other than your King of the Night. It's about time you ex-Turk, and we're going to get to a dark topic, considering the fact, well, I've been going through depression, and I think dark topics go well with depression. I've been going through some pretty severe depression, that's why I don't feel like doing it. Plus, I've been falsely flagged on my Twitch, so I can't really stream until the ban is lifted. So, keep hashtagging free uh, Turk. It'd be appreciated. So, we're going to be talking about... The, not only the downfall of Arden, but the Star Scourge itself and the connection to the Fabla Crystallis Novia. And the reason why I want to connect this to the Fabla Crystallis Novia is I watched Final Fantasy Peasant's video, and this makes me wanted to do this topic in the first place. And the topic I wanted to do is everything that has nothing to do with the Fabla Crystallis Novia, because in my mind, it still is. So, we're not going to even dispute that because I, that's what I personally believe. So,. Without further ado, let's get to the topic. Did Lindsay cause the events of Final Fantasy XV? Now, because I believe this is connected to the Fabla Crystallis Novia. Remember, Ifrit was body was made to cause the scourge when his body was put into the volcano, and our and and Ifrit was the very first to be infected with the scourge. Hence, why he turned against his wife Shiva, and the reason why you know he hated mankind. Because as you realize, when Ifrit dies, he actually sheds a tear before he gets the kiss of death by Shiva. So, nonetheless, and then Arden Lucius Kylan was also an oracle who cleansed people from their demons, but would hold, but holds his body full of the demons he cleansed from other people. Now, we don't know exactly where the Star Scourge comes from, and this is why I think this is very important. About this is why I think it's very important to talk about the Star Scourge. It doesn't come from Arden or Ifrit. It had to come from a different source. And what if Lindsay visited the world of Eos before he went to the Type Zero world and messed things up? Remember, Lindsay is evil. He's an evil foul C. And I know this sounds crazy, but Etra was not a bad bad guy like you thought she was so and not only that 
but the but but the but also the Pityos ruins was once the temple of Eos, and Eos was once Etro. And remember, this is only a topic and fan discussion, so you can go ahead and disagree in the comments if you want and give me a compelling argument. But well, the point I'm trying to say is because the Pityos ruins was connected to the was connected to Eos or one well, was what's Etro, it would make sense that Lindsay would actually have involvement. Because what if Etro tried to stop Lindsay? From destroying this world too, but failed because Lindsay had a plan to make someone else do his dirty work behind the scenes before he left to the Type Zero world. Remember, he left the Final Fantasy 13 world some time ago. We just don't know when, millions and millions of years ago. So, what if Lindsay, the evil foul, evil foul seed child of Benavelza, actually went to the 15 world? And made a secret plan by making a disease to go inside the volcano. Or should I say, cause someone to kill the astrals. And this is where we get to Niflheim. I, e e even way before, what if Niflheim killed Ifrit once? Or at least Lucis did when Ifrit turned evil. And then his ashes were spread to the volcano. Thus, the star scourge spread far and wide. And then a or young oracle... Who is the second child of the first Lucius Kylum family? Arden Lucius Kylum absorbed all those demons that he cured from people, and then they turned the Lucius Kylum family turned their back on Arden, thus caused, uh, causing his brother to banish his little brother Arden from history, thus caused the blood hatred, which caused Arden to hate his own kind. But what if Arden was manipulated from the background by Lindsay? By creating the disease. Eos or Etro tried to stop Lindsay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It wasn't a direct world destruction. He had someone else carry out his plan. Two beings. One as a regular man. And then the other one as one of the gods. Ifrit was the god that turned against mankind. And then teamed up with the man who wanted to see the world in destruction for what happened to him. So what if it's possible Lindsay has watched over Arden and watched Arden's career? Because at one point... Oh, oh, so, whoops. At one point... At one point... Arden was like Noctis. Arden wanted to help people and save people. In fact, Arden was once a great hero. And in fact, in some cases, Arden actually kind of sees some of the, you know, kind of saw a little bit of himself inside Noctis. And just like Noctis the King Regis, Arden was actually once a good guy until everything was ripped apart. But what if it was the cause of Lindsay? What if Lindsay actually turned R into what he is by making the plan happen? Put the disease that's uncurable in a volcano after one of the many gods die after turning against the world. And then one day, the, the healer, the oracle, which was once Arden Lucius Kylan, turned into... A, de an, a demon king himself. As a matter of fact, he even holds the power of the Scourge right inside of him alongside Ephraim. That's why when you defeated Ephraim, the Scourge didn't go away. You had to defeat Arden Lucius Kylium because Arden Lucius Kylium had it inside him more, a, a lot more. So, in fact, it makes sense that it was Lindsay's plan because we don't know exactly where the source of the Scourge is besides the Pityos ruins this retcon and no longer canon. So... It could come from a different source entirely. Remember, the Fabla Crystallis Novia it, it has a lot of worlds in it because the Type Zero world is a, the Type Zero world is connected. The Final Fantasy Thirteen world is connected some way in fa fashion, and so is the Fifteen world. <laughs> and the fact that you know the world called Eos is synonymous to Etro, and they once. Eos was once Etro, as you see a painting of Etro inside King's Glaive movie. It makes sense. Etro really tried to stop Lindsay, 
but didn't know that Lindsay wasn't going on for all, uh, on a global scale of destruction. Remember, Lindsay manipulates people to do his bidding. Lindsay wants to uh, genocide a whole bunch of humans to wake up Benevels and one day take his power. Or whatever it was, but it was to take genocide side, uh, side to do it. And, you know, he couldn't do it. You know, if he directly interfered, he'd be in big trouble. Because, remember, the Falci are the kids of Benevelza. And if Benevelza wakes up and sees that he's displeased with the kids, with a snap of his fingers, like Thanos, them kids are gone. Them kids are getting a big ba Them kids are going to get a big spanking. They're gonna go to Daddy Benavels and get a huge spanking if they and it directly cause the problems of the humankind. So, you know, ben of, but then Zay has to be the one who causes it indirectly. And before he went to Type Zero, he could have caused the problems of Arden through the power through the problems of Efrit through the powers of the Scourge because we don't know where the Scourge is. It's a mysterious disease that infects people. And, you know, Eos or Etro did not, you know, did not notice it until it's too late, until her death. And then when she went inside the crystal and talked to Ignis about Arden, that's when she, you know, she noticed it way too late before if it was too late. Because it was indirectly because this had to be take, this had to take one god to be destroyed by mankind because he turned against him. And then had to make a disease to make one of the strongest Lucius Kylium household the second the second in line the second king is supposed king to turn into uh pretty much a uh, revenge thirsty psychopath that hates his own family because of because of the rejection he got from his own family but it was actually a plan to cause that to happen that way it doesn't look like Lindsay did anything at all and Lindsay has done it with the Type Zero world, and he's done it with the Final Fantasy XIII world. As a matter of fact, Bartano Lotus took up Lindsay's will, so it looked like Bartano Lotus was responsible. You know, and who's not to say that Lindsay is not the cause of Caius's actions in the background? Maybe it wasn't Etro that gave um, that gave Yule a curse at all. Remember, Lindsay's a bad guy. Lindsay's bad until they come up with the type uh, type three. Hopefully they do, or at least Final Fantasy seven. Uh, Final Fantasy sorry, Final Fantasy sixteen ends up being the game to end the Fabla Crystallis Novia. But Lindsay was actually the whole bad guy from the Fabla Crystallis Novia, and this is from what I got from Final Fantasy Peasants video, and I still think fifteen is connected. Arda was never really that evil. It just became he became evil because of what happened to him, and. And Ifri couldn't control but be evil because he had the disease inside of his body all the time. And then when he was killed off, his body produced even the disease around mankind. So regular man turned to, you know, demons and pretty much made the whole world into a mess. Causing the da the downfall of Niflheim, the war between Samia and Niflheim, you know, Arden turning in the world into complete darkness to get back at not this all this stuff was caused by Lindsay Lindsay is actually the true bad guy of Final Fantasy 15 as well as he was in type 0 and as there is he is in and Final Fantasy 13 so who's not to say because who's not to say he's not responsible it is possible I still believe it's connected and this will make sense with the Star Scourge because that could be where the mysterious disease come from. Remember, Lindsay is a god. And he can make anything happen to the world. No one is going to detect a disease. So that's why this topic is the way it is. And that's why I think Lindsay is the true villain of Final Fantasy XV as well. Causing Noctis to have to fight his old ancestor. And the god that's infected with the scourge. So may the crystal be with you. Thank you for being on this topic. And may the crystal be with you.